Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And today we're going to have a very uh, fun and festive video. Um, as you know, it's very near to Christmas, and whether you celebrate that specific holiday or not, uh, it's still a good time to be happy and be merry and to celebrate. And that's what we're going to do in this video. Uh, I'm going to start off uh, by going to build a Christmas tree up in my uh, clubhouse. And then I'm going to go over to my now completed golf course and I'm going to have a full game of golf against Chloe uh, who is somewhere around my house right now. Here she is just hanging out on the stairs. Uh, but before we do any of that, I'm going to go over to my love garden as I always do uh, at the start of my videos, uh, apart from when I occasionally forget, and uh, give someone a shout out. And if you're new here, uh, you're new to uh, my channel. Uh, basically what this place is, it's a garden full of love and random fence posts apparently. And uh, basically what I do is I add one person uh, every video uh, from someone from the comments. So when people leave a comment, uh, if they make me laugh or I find it interesting or I don't know, just any comment that stands out to me, um, I add that person to my love garden and give them a bit of a shout out and they stay here uh, forever in my world inside my love garden. And today uh, the shout out is to table salt 221 and the reason why i added table salt uh, was because i wanted my love garden to be a little bit more salty i uh, know it wasn't uh, it was because i just liked his gamer tag i mean his comment was probably a little bit boring to be honest he basically just said can you add me to your love garden something like that but it was just because I loved his game attack so much. I thought like, yeah, I do, I do want to add you just because I think Table Salt is just a really funny, awesome game attack. So yeah, welcome uh, to my love garden. Uh, anyway, down to business, down to uh, decorating my lovely world to make it a little bit more Christmassy. Uh, so as I said at the start, we're actually going to be uh, building a Christmas tree inside Stampy's Clubhouse and uh, you probably should have seen this place if you've uh, been watching any of my recent videos. It's basically uh, a venue for all of my parties and all the fun stuff we get up to and it looks like Chloe here has chosen some music uh, that we can listen to while we decorate and I'm actually going to build uh, the tree here. I'm going to remove this strut from here, this support for the uh, ceiling which is uh, the one and only purpose for this pole and uh, I'm going to replace it instead with a very happy and festive Christmas tree and uh, don't worry about the um, the ceiling collapsing I've actually put some more uh, supports inside the wall so uh, hopefully the uh, ceiling should stay up and we shouldn't have any trouble and no don't get rid of the catwalk uh, we can keep the catwalk we just build it uh, on the end here so um, basically I'm gonna have a big pole of dark wood as Chloe there <laughs> goes and rebuilds the catwalk uh, and at the top I'm actually going to have a torch which is going to be like uh, the equivalent of the uh, like star at the top. I might actually go one higher with this. Um, let me just pile this up here for now. Um, yeah, I've not done this before. I haven't worked out any dimensions uh, or practiced or anything. Uh, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. It may very likely look awful, but um, oh well. <laughs> at least I tried. At least I'd try and be uh, slightly decorative. So I think you basically uh, want these rings just to get... Uh, thinner the higher you go up, kind of like a real Christmas tree. And then we're going to decorate it with mushrooms, uh, with red mushrooms, which kind of uh, look a little bit like ball balls. And I think this might be uh, a little bit too big, actually. Uh, I might get uh, rid of the outer ring. So how, how, how big's this? This is... Oh, that's only like two out. Um... We'll work this out, we work this out. Let me just climb up a bit here. And if you don't know how to collect these leaf blocks, by the way, uh, you just use shears. If you use shears on just leaf blocks on trees, then um, uh, you can actually just take them without destroying them. And uh, with the new update, any placed leaf blocks will stay where they are, um, despite like the fact that they're not near wood. As long as you place the block, then it will stay there like forever. So I think that the top row should be like... Uh, that, and then the row under, oh god, I mean to do that, the row underneath will be about this wide, and hopefully we're not going to run out of leaf blocks, I did collect uh, a whole load before this video, but it seemed to be uh, already running uh, pretty low on them, but I know Chloe's got some as well, and then this can be like, uh, I don't know, I suppose like that? Like the whole way around. Oh, this is looking really crap, isn't it? It always looks crap. <laughs> I should I should have practiced this before the video to see uh, what it would look like. This isn't a guide in how to make a Christmas tree. This is just my own uh, feeble attempts. Now it's not going to work like that. I'm going to have to do like a, a full ring around the outside. And oh, I just keep falling down. It's so annoying. <laughs> like this is the kind of thing that it would be so much easier to build in creative mode and not having like to climb up yourself. Uh, so if that's the bottom row, then. 
Uh, that row can be like to about there. Will that look okay? Uh, didn't mean to do that there. I should really, what I should be doing is using shears. Like when I accidentally uh, place one in the wrong place. If I use shears, then I won't destroy them all. I'll just sort of, yeah, you see how it comes out as a block like that. Um, does this look much like a Christmas tree? It doesn't, does it, unfortunately? Um, I'm sure that after the video I can sort of rearrange things a bit to make it look a bit more like a Christmas tree, but um, at the moment it's looking a, a little bit rubbish. Have you got any more leaf blocks? Any more leaf blocks? Or... <laughs> oh man, this looks awful. Uh, oh god, I just fell down the stairs as well. I need to be careful. Um, I don't really know what else to do to make it look a bit more Christmassy. Uh, the dimensions just aren't right, are they? I think that it needs to be all wide around the side, but I've actually uh, run out of leaf blocks. So let me go and see if i got any more downstairs. I'm not uh, sure if I do. Uh, tell you what, tell you what, for now, this will do. I'm going to shove some mushrooms on and just... Oh, has Chloe got some more? Oh, she does have some more. Okay, hope, here we go. I might be able to sort this out now. I was there thinking that we had way too many before we started this video, but it looks like we may not have had enough. So how many out is this? This is just... That's just two out. And uh, that is two out. So if I have the bottom row three out, so it's going to be a little bit massive and look a bit rubbish. But I think if I want a proper Christmas tree shape, it's the only way I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, so yeah, the bottom edge is going to have to be kind of massive. Uh, like that. And uh, even wider over here. I'm, gonna, I'm not doing things by half. I'm going to have a proper big massive Christmas tree in my world. And uh, does this look okay? It still doesn't look much like a Christmas tree, does it? Um, I think that the top bit looks a bit rubbish as well, all around here. Uh, if I do it like... Man, Minecraft is so difficult to build things to have them look specifically like something. I could do... I mean, I think that looks okay. That does look a little bit like a Christmas tree. I just don't know if um, it should be out like wider here, but then it'll just be the same length as there. I think, I think this will have to do. This will have to do for now. If I come up with a better way to do things or like a way to improve it, uh, then I will change it. But for now, I think this will do. Uh, also, you need to bear in mind with mushrooms, uh, you can't actually place them uh, directly next to each other. So you kind of got to go and do like every other one like that, which is okay. It doesn't really matter. I suppose it's kind of a good way to stop you like using too many. And you can use brown mushrooms as well. Um, that's no problem. But I don't know. I don't think brown mushrooms look very very nice you know they're not very colorful or pretty like the uh, the red mushrooms and this is looking okay isn't it is this all right i think that because i've told you it's a christmas tree you might be able to squint your eyes and sort of make it look like a christmas tree but i'm not sure if someone walked in they would immediately know what this is let's let's go down let's get rid of this dirt and uh, replace the mushrooms i accidentally destroyed like that and uh, let's look from the outside let's see if it does look anything like a christmas tree no, 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 it doesn't. I think actually the, the torch is kind of what ruins it. I mean, I could get rid of the torch and just put another leaf block up there. It, it just looks a bit weird. It looks like it looks like it's dying. It looks like it's a tree that's been left there from like the year before and we just never we never sorted it out. Right, I'm going to get rid of these mushrooms again by accident. Um, yeah, I might, I might just put another leaf block up the top up here. What I could do, I could put a torch inside it, could I? I put a torch underneath it there. Could I put a leaf block on top of that? Would that work? Uh, I think that might do, actually. Yeah, that, that might look a little bit better. That way it's got, like, the light on the top of the tree. And um, I don't have to worry about uh, the fact that it doesn't look like a Christmas tree. Okay, so she's got rid of the dirt. All right, okay, well, this will do for now. I think this is uh, just about the best I could do. And I don't want to spend any more time trying to sort it out uh, because I won't have any time to go play golf. So I think this will do for now. Uh, so I think we're actually now going to go and go to sleep and then in the morning uh, head over to my golf course and play every single hole. And uh, I'm kind of looking forward to showing you what the uh, the final hole is. But quickly, actually, uh, before I go to bed, I'm going to show you a way how you can make a Christmas tree uh, that actually looks like a Christmas tree, but is uh, ridiculously small at the same time. Um, if I just put this here and uh, put this ready-made mini Christmas tree down there. Look at that. That's what a Christmas tree should look like. If I could have that, but like full tree size, then I would be laughing. We would have been sorted and uh, Christmas would be uh, a lot more realistic and uh, festive. I can actually see there a skeleton wandering around my love garden. 
Okay, so uh, we've had some sleep. I'm going to wake up and eat some cake because uh, everyone knows that Stampy loves to eat cake. And now we're going to go and rush over uh, to my golf course as there Chloe has her breakfast. I'm not sure uh, what she was eating there. And I might actually grab a dog with me on my way. Um, i going to have my sword out ready just in case uh, we do encounter any googlies. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to take a dog with me who can uh, join me and sort of cheer me on for my... Um, yeah, for, for my golf hole. And we've actually had a, uh, a little bit of a bet, which I'll explain in one second. And I'm going to take uh, take Cedric with me. I haven't had uh, Cedric with me in a long time. So come on, Cedric, let's go. Uh, so as I said, we've had, got a little bit of a bet uh, with this golf so that whoever loses has the forfeit of pushing the other person home in the minecart. So whoever doesn't win uh, is going to have to push the other one home as just sort of... Uh, I don't know, kind of dishonouring them for losing at golf and the other one has to get uh, the joy of getting pushed along around in like a minecart and oh god, there's some nice uh, rotten flesh on my way and why did my minecart just suddenly stop? Was there normally like a power rail there that got destroyed? I don't know, I don't think I hit anything. Can you hit like rotten flesh? I don't know. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. And yeah, so I'm going to go now and uh, show you uh, my new golf hole which was half suggested by someone in the comments and half my own idea and uh, I don't want to ruin it I sort of want to give you a big dramatic reveal when we get there so I'm not going to explain what it is uh, until you actually get to see it firsthand but um, you can probably get a little bit of a glimpse of it before you see it properly and uh, a lot of you might be able to guess what it is uh, but first I'm going to go and grab my um, uh, golf balls and you can't write balls on a um, sign I went to write golf balls and it got censored because you can't say balls, which is the most stupid thing ever. So I've had to say golf spheres as for the for the golf balls. And uh, it looks like Chloe's going to be using slime balls, so I'm going to use snowballs. And uh, before we get started, I'm actually going to go uh, over here and give you a big reveal of what the big final uh, crazy golf hole is. And it's me! It's my face! Kinda. I mean... It's the best I could do. I'm not good at pixel art. And uh, I didn't have a very big area to build out of. Uh, so I couldn't add like all of the detail from my face. And um, I tried doing it in orange at first. But it didn't look right. Uh, so I changed it to yellow. And it kind of looks like my face a little bit. I tried to even be good and sort of add like the little quiff in like the top of my head as well. To try and uh, add that little bit of extra detail. And the idea is that it's me hungry, it's Hungry Stampy, and I'm there trying to eat this cake, and uh, you've got to throw it into my mouth to feed me and get it in the hole. And inside here, inside the head hatch, uh, you can look inside my mind. And so if you ever wondered what goes on inside the mind of Stampy, I'm going to show you now. Um, there's a dim light, uh, there's some cobwebs, and some cake. So what's going through my mind at any given time is a dim light for all my thinking, uh, some cobwebs for pits of the brains I don't use very often, and cake because I'm always thinking about food and eating cake. Uh, but anyway, that is the uh, final golf hole, so we're going to get to that one in a minute. Uh, but before we start, I'm actually going to set off the cobblestone castle. Uh, there's a secret passage down here somewhere. Uh, I'm assuming most of you have seen this from uh, my past video, but I've actually got to uh, reset this every time I want to play golf, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, I'm not entirely sure if there is any other way to do it so you don't have to reset it, but it, does, it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, I don't play golf that often, to be honest. So there we go. I now got my piston going again, and I'm just going to clog up that hole so uh, Cedric doesn't fall down it and get stuck or anything. Okay, so actually, Cedric, do you want to sit down for now? Because otherwise you're going to be getting in our way when we're trying to play golf. And the way we're doing the scoring system isn't like normal golf scoring. We're just going to do it by whoever wins each hole. And if we draw, we're both going to get a point. So you can see there, Chloe got it in a hole in one, as you really should do on this hole. Uh, I should get a hole in one as well. Easy, I got scared then, then I threw it over. So yeah, we both get one point for that. So I'm not worrying about doing it about how under par you get it. I'm just going to simply uh, keep the score of each hole. One, because that is easier for me just to sort of uh, write down without having to try and add up while I'm doing my commentary. And also, it might actually make the game a little bit closer and more exciting. And uh, it's just going to be a little bit easier to follow that well. So uh, Chloe got that one in two, which is really good, actually. Um, let me see if I can match. I'm just going to copy her way of doing it. Oh no, I didn't get it very far. I don't know if I can actually get this in now. Um, hopefully I can. I think I might just about be able to. Can I? No, I didn't. I didn't get it in. Oh, it fell. Look at that. Look how close that is. It's like floating over the hole. Right, there we go. 
Okay, well, I got it in in three. So Chloe's ahead now. Chloe got a point there, and I didn't. So it's 2-1 now to Chloe. Uh, so now moving on to uh, Gregory Jr. and the dog household. Uh, this is a par three, and I believe uh, it's possible to do it in two throws, if I can remember. I think Chloe's been practicing. I think she's been uh, sneaking onto my server while I've not been looking and practicing. She's doing ridiculously well. Oh, she got that one in two as well. Oh, she's going to destroy me at this rate. Right, here we go. No messing, no messing. I'm not going easy on her. I said I'd be nice to her. I said ladies first, you can go first. But she's doing ridiculously well now. And oh, I've got to get this in now. I've got quite a big throw to do now. Um, let me make sure I'm lined up properly. And go! Oh, I got it in. I got it in. Okay, so that's okay. She's not pulling away. So we both get a point for that. Uh, so it's now 3-2 to Chloe. Uh, moving now on to Cobblestone Castle, uh, which looks quite simple because you can kind of just throw it straight in. But uh, it's kind of difficult to get the timing. And can she do it? Oh, no. Oh, she got blocked. Good, good, good. <laughs> Go on, carry on, Chloe. So that that's one throw. Can she get it in now? It's going to be easier to get the timing right when you're right next to it. And did it go in? No, it didn't go in either. Okay, so if she gets it in now, and I assume she will, uh, that will be three throws for her. So I just got to beat that. There we go. So she gets it in in three, which isn't bad. I think it is a par three, yeah. So at least she got it in on par. So I just need to try and make sure I get this timing right. If I go now. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Is that a hole in one? Please be a hole in one. No, look at that again. Look how close that is. It's just floating over the hole. Okay, well, let me just tap this in let's make sure i don't muck this up and sort of get complacent there we go so i won that we're on uh, a level playing field now so let me just write down the score um uh, so yeah it's free free now so we're on a level playing field once again uh, now moving on to the never hole oh you may remember from when i built this there's uh three different holes you can throw it down and uh it's sort of up to you which one you want to go for i actually believe the best one to go for is uh, probably the one Chloe went for, the, the far left. I think either the far left or the far right are the best two to go for, uh, depending on your tactics. And this one is a uh, par four. So that was Chloe's uh, first throw, and she now got it in there in her second throw. So it should uh, come out that little gap down there. I'm not entirely sure uh, how well Chloe knows this hole. She hasn't actually had uh, much time practicing them, so I do have a bit of an unfair advantage uh, despite that, though, we are still drawing, so uh, I am getting a little bit worried now that I'm going to get beaten at my own game when I built them all. And oh my god, she got it in in three throws. Uh, that, was, that was three, wasn't it? Yeah, one, two, three. So I need to get it in in two to beat her. And I think it is actually possible. Um, if I get right on the edge here, yeah, right on the edge of the ice, that you can just about get this in in one if you get it right. I'm not sure if I did. Drop, 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 drop. Go on, go in. <laughs> No, I can't even blow it in. Oh, no, look at that. Look how close that is. Okay, I think, I think I'm think i going to draw. I know I can't beat her now, whatever. So I think the best I can do is draw with her. I kind of made it a bit more unfair for her as well by making her go first. I can kind of uh, just copy her tactics. And this is the first, like, game of golf I've probably had. Like, as in going through all of the holes. So this is kind of exciting as well. <laughs> okay, so I've got to get it in here to draw with her. So make sure you don't muck this up, Stampy. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? So that's a point each for both of us. Uh, so it's now 4-4. Four, four. Uh, so we're going down now to the final three holes. So this is uh, the whole big decider. And we haven't actually planned what to do if we draw. So uh, I guess we just sort of uh, decide if it comes down to that. But hopefully we do have a winner. <laughs> Whether I win or lose, a tie is always a bit of a cop-out in my eyes. Uh, so she got that. Uh, that's one throw so far. I believe you can get this one in in two pretty easily. So... I don't reckon she'll muck this up. Yeah, she gets it in easy. She's not giving me any chances to sort of get a lead on her. She's she's like a machine. She's getting them all in perfectly. Um, right, I want to make sure I don't bang into that top of that mushroom. So there's throw number one. And, oh, this is there's a bit of a tight angle here. Just about get this in if I don't hit the top of the tree. No, 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 no. That's gone completely wrong. No, it's gone all the way over here. Oh, no. Um... Oh, can I, I can't get that in, can I? I've, I've lost this hole, whatever. I'm just going to throw it down here and then plonk it in. Chloe's taking the lead. Oh, no. So what's the score now? It's uh, five to four to Chloe. I've only got these last two holes to make up. It's going to be make or break now. I need to win these last two holes to win. Otherwise, I can only draw or lose. 
And uh, it looks like she's not slowing down the pace either. Uh, this one is a par... What's this? A par 5, this one is. Uh, so that was her second throw. She got it down that hole. I think so, anyway. I wasn't looking. I assume she did. Uh, it also might get a bit scary because it's getting dark as well. Hopefully, uh, the golf course is lit up enough that we won't have uh, any googlies. Uh, so that there is throw number three. Throw number four. Oh, she's overshot it. She's overshot it. Okay, she's done this one in five throws. Five. I've got to beat five throws. I've got to do it in four, and I've got to try to not run into cobwebs either. I want to be very quick as well before all the googlies come after me. And I can't even climb the bloody ladder. Get out of my way, Chloe. <laughs> oh my god, we keep trying to climb at the same time and falling off. Okay, right, here we go. So I've got to get this in four to beat her. I'm still in with a chance. She's sort of, she's given me an opening here. I believe you can do this in four. So throw number one. Uh, should be an easy just drop down for throw number two. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's, let's, let's finish her off, shall we? So one, two, and uh, I think I'm going to throw it over to the left rather than the right. I think that's what her downfall was. Like that. Just don't hit the post, don't hit the post. Oh, I can do it. If I get this in, this, this is going to be a hole in four and I've won this. And then we're going to be back to drawing again. So if I get this in, it's all going to be down to the last hole. I did it! I did it as well! I get a point! So what are we on now? We're on uh, five each. So this is literally the decider. Like... Everything up to now doesn't really matter. It's whoever wins on this final hole just wins overall. Oh, this is pretty exciting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have something to eat because I'm getting hungry. Okay, so go on, Chloe. Good luck. You can do it. I hope you don't though because I want to win. Oh no, I just ate like half that cake. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, so this one's awkward because oh, she's done it. She's done it. If that goes in the water, then it carries it back. So. Uh, when we were practicing this, she actually failed like a million times in a row, but it seems that now it's game time. She's doing it okay. So she's got it to there in only two throws, and this is supposed to be a par five. Is she going to get it in in three? She got it in in three! Oh, what, what a bloody show-off. <laughs> Seriously, I reckon she took about 15 throws when she practiced this hole, because if you overshoot it, you go back in the water, and it's really difficult to get back out. Okay, so i got to get it in three to just draw with her. Don't muck this up, Stampy. You got this. Don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. No! Oh, it went back. Look, it glitched. It went back. Thank you, lag. Okay, so I'm still in with a chance. So i got to get it in two more throws to draw. I can do this. I can do this. Come on, I'm going to feed hungry Stampy. <laughs> oh, it's such a rubbish like version of me, isn't it? Like other people have done it so much better. So I've got to get this in now to draw. Come on. Yay! We drew! We drew! Oh, and I'm flying by accident. Well done, Chloe. Well done. Let's have a snowball fight in celebration. Oh, don't, all right. I don't have a bloody bow and arrow fight in celebration. That's dangerous. Um, So it looks like neither of us has to push the other one in the uh, minecart. Looks like uh, we've got a neutral victory. So uh, well done, Chloe. Um. Uh, I mean, a tie is a little bit of an anticlimax. It would have been nice if I sort of uh, got a dramatic comeback at the end to win and then uh, got a free ride in the minecart track, but um, it doesn't It doesn't matter. I mean, it was a fair game and, um, yeah, it was very close and fought out battle. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. I do hope you uh, like my golf course. Um, as I've said in past videos, um, I will be adding uh, to this area to sort of add more attractions like sideshows and roller coasters and all sorts of uh, other fun stuff around here. So hopefully uh, this will just be one of the many attractions in Stampy's Funland and you'll see that all uh, in the future. Um, as we're getting close to Christmas, I also want to say um, I hope you're all having a good festive season and... Um, uh, I'll be uploading a special video on Christmas, no doubt, but uh, I do want to just say uh, happy Christmas for everyone that does celebrate Christmas. And even if you don't, even if you're not religious, take this as a good opportunity just to uh, spend some time with your friends and family and just enjoy yourself for a bit. Uh, anyway, uh, as I can see some googly starting to spawn uh, on my golf course, this might be a very good time to end the video. So thank you, Chloe, for uh, wherever she's gone. Thank you, Chloe, for uh, hanging out with me and playing golf with me. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.